The next thing we're going to do then, or part eight of this series, is going to be to add a video to our sidebar, add a self-hosted video to our sidebar. And so we'll come back over to our, um, our sandbox, actually, to do this one. And I'm going to use this add the flow player. And we're going to grab a video. And in this case, we'll use the fourth video, which is custom taxonomy decisions. We'll grab that video. And now the width in the sidebar is different. My sidebar width is actually 270 pixels rather than 520 pixels. So we're going to say 270. And then the height, rather than 560 pixels, yeah, and so the height would be one, 202 pixels tall. That's the proportion between these. And the splash image, we're going to do the same thing. We'll come over here to the media library, go to the media library, and get custom taxonomy decisions, and copy it. And paste the splash image and set insert. And now we've got our short code properly configured. I'm just going to copy that short code. And then let's see which, oh, that's a next gen, isn't it? Okay. And then we're going to go to appearance and widgets. And in our sidebar, we're going to add a new widget. We're going to add a text widget. And in fact, I'm going to bring it up here to the top. And I'm just going to paste that short code right there. I have Display Widgets plugin installed on this site, so I'm going to go ahead and use that system for deciding that it only goes on my front page. So I'm going to use the show on checked version of it. And then I'm going to just pick, actually my front page is a blog page. So I'm going to select that and hit save. And then if we go back to the, uh, go back to our home page, there it is. So the video is sitting right there now in the top of this. And we can go ahead and press play and it gets started. Okay, and then we also, oops, and you know we could obviously add a uh, add a title to this. So, custom taxonomy decision making tree. And hit save, and then that would give it a title at the beginning. So that, for example. Well, that's that's pretty much it, really. That's how you put one of these videos in a text widget. Essentially, make your short code in a sandbox and then copy that from the sandbox into the text widget, and you've got it made in the shade.